Hey everyone, welcome back to Gaming. In today's video, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to clone eFootball 2026 on your iPhone. If you want to play with two accounts on the same device, this video is for you. Let's get started. First, make sure your iPhone has enough storage space. eFootball is a heavy game, so check that you have at least a few extra GBs free. Now I will enter my first eFootball app. You can see the squad of my first eFootball app. Now I will try to log into my second eFootball app, which is the clone one. Can you see it's working? You can see the squad of my second eFootball app. First one. Second one. See again. First one. So now let's see how I install two apps on my iOS device. By the way, this is not an edit or any kind of hack. So don't worry about it. To start this process, you will need either a laptop or a desktop. First you have to install iTunes in your laptop or desktop, and then you have to install Sidelibly. I will provide all the app links in my description. Here is all the like. I will share it in the description and comment box. Now we need to download the eFootball IPA file. I will also share this IPA file to you. Once the IPA file has finished downloading, you will need to connect your iOS device to the desktop using a cable. After that, open the Sideloadly application, log in with your Apple ID, then select the device and click on IPA option. Then select the IPA file and click on Start to begin the installation process. Normally, it takes 15 to 20 minutes. What's left to be fixed? I mean, like we tried to be the king now. Feel the thunder in our stride. With every pass we make, we've got to get this one. We've never When it reaches 100%, click Done, then go to the Settings app. Next, tap General, then VPN and Device Manager. And finally, select your profile and tap Trust. Now go back and open the Clone app. Click in 3. Click on Data Transfer. Transfer your data. Log in and start the game. If this video was helpful, please subscribe, follow, and like Shahadat Gaming.